So hey guys, this is Phil Abadicola, producer, director, co-writer of Milkshake, and... Mark Gonzalez, co-writer of Milkshake. We are now on episode six. Now, how did you see this all coming out um, after we started writing this together? I know we had, we had I'd pre-written episode one through four, but five and six was really, from the ground up, both of our ideas. So, I mean, how did you see this coming together after you'd finished writing the initial drafts? It was much more collaborative, the writing process between the two of us, I think. And I think that... I've spoken this in previous commentaries, but I'm especially proud of these episodes because we were able to know what the guys, you know, were were especially good at and we could play towards their strengths. Um, I think that also an important element that we get in these episodes that was, you know, because there was so much going on, I think that we ended up missing them was just really driving home the theme uh, in this episode, whereas one through four, you know, they're, they're so big, it's easy to lose track of the importance of those themes. Uh, yeah, I think that for me, my, I'm most proud of the, our ability to actually uh, recognize that we had re- written one through four, um, for lack of a better word, incorrectly, and that it was a one big long episode instead of thinking about it like a TV series where things have to happen much more quickly. So we I, I was glad that we had um, recognized that problem in one through four and tried to move up all of the action of Lance getting kidnapped much sooner, using you, knowing that that would be, be the natural outbreak. Sorry, the um, the, the the out to the uh, episode, the moving up these milkshake throwing, making the, the Prius drivers more of the nemesis and discovering that they had actually uh, injured somebody on their watch, as it were, and that that helped make it feel more like. A TV series, and I think that as far as if we're going to talk about making films, that it, the same lessons apply. Get in early, as early as you can, and get out as late as you can. And that was something that we had learned with uh, one through four. Uh, yeah, yeah. We just saw a really great um, montage back there of uh, Ned, you know, jamming the car keys into there and uh, getting, getting the car going, and you just see the... Uh, the montages in this are especially fun. They bring a lot of energy to the show, I think, and they're general. They're very well shot and very well edited by you. Oh, uh, thanks. I, I'm, I, I'm just really glad that the story ends up taking m- more turns more quickly, and then we, we actually just feels like we're we're going on um, that the, that the audience is being taken along somewhere. Whereas I feel like in the episodes one through four. Uh, <clears throat> it, it, the audience has to lay, sort of labor along al- with the story, as opposed to it, it taking them like a like a ship off to the stars. The, the first the first four just kind of you're kind of waiting for something to happen, and it, it just takes a long time for it to happen. Even though I love them, five and six things are happening for the audience much more quickly, which I, I'm glad about. Um, can you what what is um talk about the Prius uh, passengers and drivers here? Oh, there's a lot to be made about these characters. Um, this is kind of one of those only in L.A. type of moments where we see, one, how small the world is, but also, two, like, you end up seeing a lot of the same cars over and over again. L.A. has a very definite car culture, whether you're interested in cars or not. Like, you end up noticing, you know, I was driving to work today. I saw a lot of Dodge Stratuses. Like more than I've seen in my entire life. Hey, Todd Stratus, where do you where'd you pull pull that one out of? It's just a car I see a lot of, a lot of times, and it's kind of the same way with these. You know, Priuses are very noticeable, and you're you're gonna notice them. But uh, another car that you might not notice is just the incredibly generic Dodge Stratus. Um, or or Mazdas. Mazdas are ubiquitous. Yeah, definitely. But uh, I guess I, one of the ideas behind this. A uh, Prius bit was that I had heard recently on something on NPR, either Radio Lab or Dinner Party Download or something, that it's it was found that people who describe themselves as being more green generally make up for what they're the good that they're doing for the planet by being just lousy tippers or just assholes. And that there's something innately human about saying, like, you know what, I've done enough for today. 